adding and subtracting money. The secrets to success apply when you're both adding and subtracting money amounts. What are the secrets? When adding or subtracting money, always line up the decimal points. If a decimal point is not included in the number, remember that it is understood to be at the end. Remember to include placeholder zeros if needed. When ready, add or subtract as usual. And finally, put the decimal and dollar sign in the answer. In this video, we will look at three examples. First, add $52 and $6.45. Remember, when adding or subtracting money, always line up the decimal points. And if there is no decimal, it is understood to be at the end. Putting a decimal next to the 52 makes it easier to line up the decimals in $6.45. Include placeholder zeros if needed. Add the numbers as usual. Put the decimal and the dollar sign in the answer. Next, ask yourself, does this make sense? Well, 52 and about $6 makes about $58, which is close to the answer you got. Let's take a look at an example with subtraction. Subtract $12.50 from $35. When adding or subtracting money, always line up the decimal points. If there is no decimal, it is assumed that it's at the end. This makes it easy to line up the $12.50. Include placeholder zeros if needed. You can see that there's nothing to take away 50 from until we add placeholder zeros. Now that we're set up, we can subtract the numbers as usual. Zero, take away zero, is zero. We can't take away five from zero, so we have to borrow. 10, take away five, is five. Four, take away two, is two. Three, take away one, is two. Next, put the decimal and dollar sign in the answer. Does this make sense? 35 take away 15 would give you 20. So this answer makes sense. Darian spent $9 on guitar strings, $23.80 on a guitar strap, and $40.25 on a music book. How much did he spend? Again, when adding or subtracting money, always line up the decimal points. Since there's no decimal written in the nine, it's understood to be at the end. So we can line up the other numbers underneath it. Remember to include placeholder zeros if needed. Add the numbers as usual. Next, put the decimal and the dollar sign in the answer. Finally, ask yourself, does this make sense? Well, $9 and about $24 makes $33, and $40 makes $73. So yes, this makes sense. The secrets to success, in summary, are as follows. When adding or subtracting money, always line up the decimal points. If a decimal is not included in the number, remember that it's understood to be at the end. Include placeholder zeros if needed. When ready, add or subtract as usual. And put the decimal and dollar sign in the answer. Thank you for watching this video on adding and subtracting money.